This is a review of set 40728, the Bright Bomber, which has 151 pieces. This set would originally cost $10 from October 1st to October 3rd, but instead it is a GWP going for over a $90 purchase. So usually when I rank sets that are GWPs, then I'll say how much more money would I add on to my purchase to receive this. So this was obviously $90, but before I answer that question, I'm going to go in depth for the actual build and the quality of it. Starting off, it comes with one printed piece, which is on the chest right here, which is the Loot Llama, which actually came as another set. And the skin accuracy, at least, isn't really that good. Some of the pinks actually looked a little bit different on the instructions, which I didn't like. And they also look a little different on the skin, so that's definitely a downside. But they even added a little pouch, which is different on this leg than the other leg, which is very nice. They didn't get an exclusive mold for a pickaxe. It's just a normal one, which is kind of sad, but it's still pretty cool. I also like her hair. The ponytail is very accurate, especially for a brickhead. And obviously it comes with these brickheads, iconic eyes that are in every brickhead set. It also includes some goggles, which uses a bike handle piece to connect them, and it uses two shields which is a certain type of shield where you can attach a circular tile on it. If I can get this off, then I'll show you here, which actually look very nice. I really like the goggles, and I think it's very fun technique to build, and it definitely accurate, accurately uh, represents them. But I do wish you could actually like, pull them down and put them over the eyes. That would be cool. Not quite how accurate that is into the actual um, realistic Fortnite skin, but... I feel like it could be a really cool set to have on your gaming display. And like most of the briquettes, you can actually take off the arm and move it a little bit, like how I did with this. You can actually take this off and make it go up and down, like he's like she's mining something or using a pickaxe. So that's a cool thing that I like to do with most of my briquettes. I also like the skin tone. It's very nice as well as the ears and all the hair details. Kind of complicated to build. Not too complicated because it's only a 10 plus set. But now I'm actually going to look at the box art. So looking at the box art here, it comes with the Fortnite logo on the bottom with a purple outline, which I really like. It also has a Fortnite background. If I, if you uh, turn around here, you can see a little bit better. It also comes with a uh, stand to put on, which I didn't actually show. So here it is on a stand, and I usually don't put them on stands because I don't like them on stands. I think it's kind of boring, and I would prefer it as, like, the actual background that it has, like it would be this beach um, look, which you can actually make in LEGO Fortnite. You can say your spawn point in LEGO Fortnite. Obviously, your character won't look like this, but now let's get into the actual rating. So when rating a GWP, how I rate a GWP, you gotta also acknowledge you're also getting whatever you're spending the extra money for so i'll probably spend at least 20 to 15 dollars more for this because it's actually a pretty fun enjoyable build like most brickheads i have a lot of brickheads and um i like all of them honestly they're all the pretty much the same build but they come out looking like very nice and honestly once you have this in person if you like fortnite and if you have like the skin they use a lot it looks very nice uh, as well as on your like gaming setup and if you play a lot of fortnite obviously you can't really get it now because you're only available to get it to three days which was from the first of october to the third of october which is kind of short for this gwp because i really like it and it's 90 dollars to spend i wish it would have been at least through the entire month because then it would have been a lot better or they could have just sold it as a separate lego fortnite set i would have liked that a lot better but at least you don't have to spend $90 on only LEGO Fortnite sets, so that's great. So definitely would have recommended you pick this up. Probably not going on the aftermarket to get it, but definitely a good set. I'd probably rate this about a 8.5 out of 10, and I'd at least spend $15 more to get this set. But that's going to do it for the rest of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Brickheads reviews and a lot more content coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you all in the next one.